and welcome back to my channel. I am going to refilm this whole video because I've just filmed it and realised I wasn't recording. <sighs> but I'm not going to let it stress me out. And I've got a few things to tell you before we start the video. So the first thing is very minor. If you hear snoring, that is Jerry. Um, I don't want to leave him on his own because we're home alone and he doesn't like being on his own. So I'm having him in here with me, but he's sleeping. But because he's a French bulldog, he does do the whole... <sighs> Thing. Uh, the second thing is this nose ring is fake as a few of you probably actually do know because there have been pictures with me with a nose ring and pictures with me without a nose ring. The reason I have a fake one is because I have been so desperate to get a real one done however I can't because I've got what it takes and things like that. I am obviously like a children's presenter and yeah so I am not allowed. However I do really want to get one done. So I just got a fake one and it kind of looks real and I like it and I can take it in and out whenever I want and not have to worry about it closing up. Stress free. The third thing is, as you guys can probably tell by this video, I am testing out some really unusual hairstyles at the moment. I look back on my last year of videos and I either just had my hair up or down and I found it quite boring and realistically, if there is anywhere I'm going to test out new hairstyles, it's going to be on this channel. So today I've got pigtails. And I'll probably have pigtails in the next video because I think I'm going to film that after this. And the fourth and final thing I have to tell you guys is very, very, very important. I have changed my upload days to Thursdays and Sundays. They already were Thursdays and Sundays, but I also had a Tuesday. But I've dropped the Tuesday now purely because I don't feel like there was much of a hype around it. And I also got to the point where I wasn't enjoying it as much because the workload was just ridiculous. As soon as I finished one video, I had to think about the next. And I didn't have time to do any other things that I really wanted to do, like blogging and stuff like that. So, yes, I have changed it and that's how I like it. So now we've spoken about all of that, let's get on with this video. If you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and a comment and subscribe if you're new here. Oh my god, I feel like I haven't done this in so long or I've had a little break. Um, yeah, subscribe if you're new here. I want to try and smash... 300 likes on this video that's probably quite a lot for this kind of video but let's try and do it anyway 300 likes but without further ado let's get on with today's video so it's going to be my new year new me video and that is where I read you guys out my five new year's resolutions and I have them right here in front of me I've picked five realistic ones I mean barring the last one but we'll talk about that when we get there the first resolution I have got is get in shape now I'm not talking lose a couple of pounds and stuff like that I'm talking seriously get in shape like make a change because if there is one thing I don't feel at the moment it's healthy I feel sluggish I feel tired I have been getting up a lot earlier and I feel better for it but I still don't feel better um, and to be perfectly honest without sugarcoating it I feel fat as a house and that's not something I'm used to feeling so I am making 2017 a year of change like serious serious change so i know so many people say that but i'm really unhappy at the moment with the way i feel and the way i look and stuff like that so i'm going to be making a big 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 change it kind of links in with the next resolution but i'm going to be signing up to a new gym one where i feel a bit more comfortable going and one where I feel not as insecure being in the gym. I'm not really a gym bird at the moment. I'm hoping to be one, but yeah. One where I feel a bit more secure going. I woke up this morning and I went on a 45 minute walk with my dad. We walked to our local high street and back because my dad is doing the exact same thing. We are going skiing in February and to be perfectly honest, none of my family apart from Lewis, are in a, in the best shape to be going skiing because it takes a lot of fitness and that's something that we don't have right now. Connor and Lewis have actually never skied before. Um, well, Lewis has kind of skied, but not really. He wouldn't remember it. And Connor has never, ever, 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 ever put his feet in ski boots. So they're kind of doing their own thing, preparing for it. And me and my mum and dad have gone on some big health here. So the second New Year's resolution kind of links in with the first one, uh, but except I'm doing it for the same but different reasons. I want to cook more. The reason I want to cook more is because this year I'm kind of looking at hopefully getting together enough money 
for a deposit or something like that to move out. And I don't want to move out and completely not be able to cook anything because that's where I feel people fall in to the wrong patterns of eating because they know how to stick toast in the toaster, they know how to make a grilled cheese sandwich, well, most people do. And that's kind of where I would start really, really unhealthily eating because I would just go and look for snacks. The second reason I want to cook more is obviously for myself at the moment, everything that I cook from scratch will nine times out of 10, if I'm following a healthy recipe, be extremely good for me to eat. So that's another reason that I'd like to do it. My third New Year's resolution is to save, save, save. Now this kind of contradicts the fourth one, but I'll talk about this one first. I um, one of my dreams, as most girls, is to move out and be able to de decorate like her own little flat and stuff like that. That's something that I want to do in the next couple of years and I'm not going to be able to do that unless I save. I'm quite a good saver but I'm quite a good spender as well but I don't spend on things like clothes and stuff like that, although I should because I do it on YouTube, but I spend on homeware things because I love homeware things. Like if you look around my vlogging room, it I could be in my own little flat right now. And that's kind of, because if I bought all the stuff now, I can move it over when I do move out. So it's not a waste of money, but I wanna look at it in my own little place. So I've decided that I'm really gonna start saving for a deposit. I've already got a lump sum saved already, uh, but I'm gonna take it more seriously this year. However, that does contradict my fourth New Year's resolution, which is explore and travel more. So exploring and traveling does cost money. Not always for me, because last year I got sent to some beautiful places for YouTube and stuff like that and didn't pay a penny. However, that's not always the case. There are places that I wanna go that I, I couldn't for my job, so I do have to pay. But it is a New Year's resolution of mine to go and travel more, vlog more when I'm out at these places and really, really see the world. 2016 was, I know I didn't know any of the people that really died in 2016, they were all massive celebrities, but waking up most days and turning on the news and seeing that this person had died and that person had died and, and most of them so suddenly, no one really suffered for long, it was just sudden, a lot of them, made me realize that you really have got to go out and do what you want to do and be how you want to be because within seconds your life could be taken away from you and that would be it. You get one life and that is it. So it showed me that I really want to go out and do some more experiences. I think 2016, part of that year was a bad year for me because I did choose to become a bit of a recluse towards the end of the year. Although I did go on some nice holidays, I was suffering bad from my anxiety, I didn't really want to leave the house and stuff like that. So that's one thing that was making me, although I did it because I was feeling anxious, it was making me feel more anxious because I was just looking out my window every single day. And I already have to spend enough time at home because of my job. So I need to go out and do more things, do more exciting things, get my blood rushing a little bit more. And my fifth New Year's resolution, this is the one that's a bit um, unrealistic, I guess. I mean, it could be realistic, because, but it might not be. But I don't know, but we'll just see. My fifth New Year's resolution is hitting 50,000 subscribers on my main channel. That would be an absolute dream come true for this year. I am already on 28,000 subscribers, so I have got just under 22,000 to go, but realistically, when you put 22,000 in one year, that's quite a lot in one year, but it's not impossible. There are so many people that have done it, but they either do it or they don't. Like People either slug and slug and slug for subs, and it builds up and up and up really slowly, and then one day it just jumps up, or you get the people that do just get a really, really lucky break and put their all into it and they go from like 5,000 subs to like 2 million in a year. Like I was watching one YouTube the other day and I can't actually remember his name, but bless him, he's so cute and he reminds me so much of my little brother. And he is only like 15 or 16 and he went from 8K at the beginning of 2016 to hitting 1 million just before we entered 2017. That's absolutely ridiculous. That is like, 992k but yeah my aim is to hopefully hit 50,000 subscribers 
by the time we enter 2018. It's going to take a lot of work, but hopefully it's all going to be worth it. So, yeah, they are my five New Year's resolutions, guys, and I hope you enjoyed hearing about them all, and you can actually follow me trying to achieve these New Year's resolutions on my vlogging channel, um, which, like I said, I'll put in the description below. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Like I said, I want to try and hit 3,000... 3,000? 300 likes on this video and if you guys have any New Year's resolutions then please let me know in the comments below or you can tweet me or put comment on my Instagram or Snapchat me and I will put all of them in the description below as well and if you're new here then please please subscribe don't forget to check out my vlogging channel and I will see you guys on Sunday bye